Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. This is video number three from a series of health, longevity, how to get a better version of yourself, achieve your goals and so on. Just a reminder, the first video was about me as myself, I'm 45 years old, I'm healthy and happy and I wish the same for you. And to achieve those goals, we're going through a series of the videos, which is sleep, breakfast, lunch, dinner, gym, and how you wrap it all together to help yourself to achieve results. Today, we're talking about breakfast. So, people say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. That is not true. Let's see why, let's see what we do about breakfast and why do we need or don't need to eat breakfast. So first of all, when I say breakfast, I'm mostly describing your morning routine. What do you do to have a good morning? Me, I wake up at um, around 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't have any alarm clocks. That is how good sleep should finish in your life. Please sleep until you had enough. If you didn't have enough sleep, nothing in your life will go well. Sleep is the best way to recover, rejuvenate, restore, get ready for your day. Please don't use alarm clock when you wake up. Please don't check your phone. Wake up with natural light, wake up with them um, just naturally. So when you wake, first thing that happens to you, your body inject decent amount of hormone called cortisol to suppress hormone that call melatonin. So melatonin is a hormone of sleep, cortisol, hormone of stress. You may not feel stress, but to suppress your sleepiness, cortisol getting released, and melatonin getting suppressed. That's an amazing process in the body. However, it has side effect. Not really side effect, but this is how body design. The cortisol will produce or inject glucose in the body and trigger insulin and, and that process will create hunger. And not to be hungry in the morning, this is what I suggest you not to do, not to eat first thing in the morning. Have a drink of apple cider vinegar. By the way, every single supplement I describe in, in, in this video or on any of my other videos, I've put down below links to it. I buy my stuff from Amazon. You don't have to buy from Amazon. Just look what it is and make your own choices. The reason why I buy from Amazon is because it's the same price as my local uh, grocery store, but it's getting delivered for free and I'm not wasting my time go into the shops and, 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 and do what I do. So, apple cider vinegar. Make sure you drink quality one. Make sure that you drink it with pulp. Pulp and apple cider vinegar called mother. So apple cider vinegar with mother, unpasteurized and unfiltered. That's what you need. What it will do, it won't stop your cortisol getting into your body, but what will stop the spike of glucose in your body and also prep your gut a stabilizing alkalinity to acidity to a level where your gut bacteria is healthy and happy. So I wake up in the morning, I'm not hungry and peckish, but after having that shot of apple cider vinegar, I'm not hungry anymore because the apple cider vinegar is suppressing appetite. So my exercise is in the morning and I create my own pre-workout. I link up there um, uh, to my pre-workout video but in a nutshell I don't believe in commercial pre-workouts I make my own beautiful pre-workout and that will warm up my body give me energy and prep my muscles for exercise and also wake me up so what do I do I put half teaspoon of Himalayan salt because when you wake up you you uh, uh, no, you go to the toilet, you pee, you excrete uh, all your electrolytes. So you do need sodium to make that sodium potassium pump work pump working in your muscles. So you need half 
teaspoon of Himalayan salt. I put uh, cayenne pepper, just half a teaspoon as well. And then I use tsp two teaspoons of MCT oil. It will help me to stay in ketosis during my exercise and get my energy from breaking down fat deposit into butyrate acetone and ketone bodies, which is cleanest fuel, give you stable energy during your exercise. And I mix it all together and make what is my version of combination of pre-workout and bulletproof coffee. And when I drink my coffee, I take magnesium malate. I'll put link down below what it is. It will help your muscles to complete that uh, electrolyte cycle for the morning. And then I go to gym. I will create a separate video about the gym, what I do, how I exercise. This video is not about it. This video about breakfast. Let's talk about breakfast. Breakfast is not important like any other meal of the day. There's no important or not important meals in a day. Your breakfast is just a food that you'll consume. Body is smart enough to find all the energy, all the nutrients. If you eat well from other sources, you can keep fasting after your exercise. So exercising fasted, fasted is a key, but also coming from a gym back home, you don't have to eat. But let's say you eat. What should you eat? Your breakfast should be biggest, most nutritious meal of the day. It should contain very little carbs, uh, carbohydrates, if possible none, and it should have majority of fat and protein. So if you would like your bacon and eggs, it's fantastic breakfast, just make sure you don't burn eggs don't burn bacon and you don't cook in vegetable oils cook it in a ghee cook it in a butter cook it in a coconut oil um, anything like that uh, I try to alternate my breakfast between something like bacon and eggs and also sometimes eat seeds and unsweetened Greek yogurt if you got enough money and you got access you can eat um, yogurt made of, uh, from God's milk because it's definitely A2 milk and it's easier on your stomach and, 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 and give you a lot of good nutrition. So your breakfast should be either not existent as you skip it completely or it should be biggest and most nutritious meal without carbohydrates. So here's a challenge for the morning. Start it well, start it with food that you like and never deprive yourself with a small breakfast. Go extremes, no breakfast or very rich, nutritious breakfast. Well, that's all for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video or any other videos on my channel, feel free to subscribe, like this video and hit the notification button so you won't miss any of my future videos in this series or any other videos I post on my channel. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.